the heat that you get when, as especially, there's a group, a group, as I say, that's got an ongoing campaign to get conservative talk radio off the air in Milwaukee, and they go after advertisers aggressively, they go after the management aggressively. If we weren't real successful, we'd be gone too. Right. I mentioned that the Business Journal is reporting online today The WTMJ radio is going to be dropping conservative talk as its format using the exit in a couple of months of Charlie Sykes as an opportunity to become what Tom Langmire, the manager of the station, says is a more inclusive station, more reflective of the entire community. Well, you know what that means. It means they're probably going to do a bunch of shows that don't have a political bent, and they'll probably put a liberal or two on the air and have a little bit of something for everyone. TMJ is doing this. I suspect because they've just gotten tired of the crap that they get for being a conservative radio station or having a lot of conservatives on the air. Everybody has commented on the fact that conservative talk radio has had a significant influence in politics in Wisconsin. We have been the backbone behind the Walker movement. There is a reason why virtually every member of the state legislature from southeastern Wisconsin on the Republican side is more conservative than the overall legislative base. The general rhinos that you have in the state legislature, what's left of them, are almost all from outstate. People have commented on this phenomenon of the remarkable voter turnout in the color counties surrounding Milwaukee County, predominantly Republican, and they've written about the influence of conservative talk radio. And that's why I think they're afraid of replacing, because they're, uh, you know, a lot of different reasons, but I, I do think that they com are concerned about the controversy all the time. Well, that's what I say, yeah. and it's, it's getting worse.